Today on Stitchless TV, we've got a very famous weather girl with us. <laughs> this is Wendy Horrell. Hello, Wendy. Nice to meet hi, you. I'm hi. Not terribly famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, do you think you've got like a plain T-shirt? Yeah, I reckon what, quite we'll loose copy fitting. It. Well, what we would do, we'd basically lay it out so it's like a template. Except we're going to do it a bit longer because we're going to do it as a shift dress. Oh, so should we have nice. a look and see if you've got yeah, a t-shirt somewhere? That. Brilliant. Let's do that. Okay. Wendy, have you found one? Yeah, I reckon I have. What do you think of it? Is it quite loose? Loose fitting one. Yeah. Right, so how is it around your hips? We can always cut it a bit bigger anyway. Yeah. So how do you how do you see this dress being? Do you want it so it fits on your hips and goes down? Or you'd like it a little I bit looser. I think probably with this sides. kind of fabric, you want it a bit looser, don't you? Because then it yeah. will hang. Yeah. What we'll do then, we'll lay it out. So mm. we're gonna. I'll do it in a minute. We'll lay it out on the material. Yeah. And we'll basically just add extra seam allowance. Right. Understood. All the way round. This is a great way of doing it because it means you can. Anyone can do that. You don't have to buy anyone, yourself a pattern. Exactly. Anyone can do it, and you can do it with anything that will be. This is two dimensional when you lay it out. Right. Okay. So, how far down the arm do you want it to go? Do you have like an arm issue? Oh, what girl doesn't? No. They're just like sausages from oh, the back. Oh, they're not. <laughs> but they're not. They're not. They're not. But I, I feel exactly the same. Right, you see, I think this much sleeve is fine, right? Yes. And then you've got so you this bit. identical Exactly. Yes. You just, then you've just got a bit of an elbow yes. and a bit of this bit, which is fine. Well, do you know what? And so that's the beauty of making your own clothes. You might like the shape of a t-shirt, but you don't buy it because it doesn't come far enough down your arms so just make it so that means then that we need to add a little bit more onto here okay so we've laid out our t-shirt and we're just going to measure how long or short Ooh, sorry Ralph Very friendly, isn't he? he's trying to get the bottom of your tape measure <laughs> oh he is isn't he? how funny you not get off it's my tape measure right okay. okay so if I can just move you over a little yeah. bit yeah and have a think about how long you would like it to be. So but there's your knee. knee. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that is your knee. Yeah. So I'm going to push my fingers bit, in. Yeah. A bit longer okay. or a bit shorter? Maybe a tiny bit shorter. Ooh, Ooh, this is. Should we do it a bit longer? Because we can make it shorter, but we can't make I'll it longer. Make it longer. Make it longer. Yeah. Yeah. So we. I'll do it. There. There's good problem. Yeah. yeah okay. So that. that was 33. So okay. I'm going to lay that on top of the t-shirt now. Mm -hmm to see how much more I need to add and I'll also need to add uh, seam allowance as well of about an inch and a half. I like okay. to have a nice big hem because it gives it a good weight. Yeah, okay. So we're talking 34 and a half. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, Wendy, yeah. are you going to be okay to start doing the first cut? Yes. The first cut is always the... Um, deepest. The deepest, <laughs> yes. So the seam allowance is about half an inch and just go all the way down and then just off. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. You watch me. Make sure I'm doing it right. You'll so if I start fine. there. Yes. I'm, it's a bit wonky. That's okay. <laughs> all the tutorials allow for little mistakes, things being wonky. That is a good thing, It's a Tree. good thing, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so now... Don't jump with scissors. No, no, actually. <laughs> so now what I want you to do is to trace out. <laughs> oh, that could be a bandana for <laughs> old Ralph. <laughs> yes! Lovely. Like it. Right, okay. I mean, that looks nice on my t shirt too. Yeah. So now what I want you to do is this. Okay, so I'm going to take you to the middle. Yeah. And then we're I want. Following you... the line now, this time. So now we're not doing a seam allowance. Fine. I can explain to you why or not. No. Yes. I think it will all become clear later. It will all become it? clear later, <laughs> yeah. So if you follow that around, yeah. up and up go off. To that little point yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. And you might not want to cut your T-shirt. <laughs> no, I'll try not to cut the, yeah. the hem off my own T-shirt, which yes. I still rather like. That's a good idea. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So now what I want you to do is to see how what we did on that side. I want you to do the same on this side, okay. but go to about there. All right. And this is with the hem allowance again. With the seam allowance, yes. yes seam allowance. So you should be able to start at that point. There you go. And then go along there. That's great. 
do really well. Wow, you're doing really, really well. So this is the moment now where we're going to be able to add a little bit extra onto Wendy's this sleeves. Is a good moment. So this is a good moment, isn't it? <laughs> so allow. I want to allow about two centimeters yep. for uh, a hem. Yeah. So therefore, I'm adding another two centimeters to this. Okay. And I saw that when you tried on this top, it did sort of come to about there. So yeah. I, I, I think that that will be fine. Okay. So if we start on this side and then right. you just cut. Okay. About, let's see, what is it? I can't move my measure. One, two, three, four centimeters. So if you about cut from there. there and be equidistant from the edge and go to about there. Edge of the sleeve. Edge of the sleeve hem, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, you can stop oh, there. Okay. okay, so I'm going to do the same on the other side now. Yeah. So we've added a little bit extra onto the sleeve, and now I remember you saying that you wanted the t shirt to be a bit looser than it is on you. Yeah. So I'm going to allow quite a lot extra, mm -hmm. knowing that I can take it in. Okay. So I'm going to start shaping the sleeve now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come round and start just going like that and heading all the way down good so, chopping good chopping thank action. you thank you very much Once before but how not <laughs> just a few million once times. or twice <laughs> what was the measurement though was it 34? 34 and a half and a half what i would recommend yeah is folding it over okay very carefully so it all matches up like that yeah but with this business of tracing around t-shirts it's never exactly perfect okay but we'll make it as near as we can near as we can and then we can trim it off afterwards it's not mm. that bad it's is not, it it's, it's just a little tiny bad. bit oh i think that's my wonky cutting i don't know <laughs> right okay so hang on here's your bandana do you like that? <laughs> Not sure. Look, do you like your bandana? It's going to last about 10 seconds. So we folded it over now. Mm -hmm. And all you've got to do is just trace around yeah. the stuff that we've cut before. So okay. I'm going to leave you to do that. Okay. You'll be okay. And this is the boring bit. I'm so I sorry. Just follow that line. Yeah. Don't deviate from that no. line. Although it's not the end of the world if you do a bit. Oh, that's good. But once okay. it's all cut out, you'll see it's so, so quick to sew. So, so quick to so, sew. So, so quick oh, to sew. So good. That sounds like a poem. It does, doesn't it? So, so quick to sew. And it's brilliant because we've cut out the other side because it's all double sided anyway, isn't it? Very good, Wendy. I noticed that. <laughs> Otherwise, they're very professional. He slotted in there. Yes, it's um, double. We've got two layers of fabric that we're cutting out here. Yeah. And now we've folded it over. So effectively, we've got four. We've got four now. layers as we're doing it. Yes. Now, you see at the hem, yep. see how I did a line and it wasn't very... So now you'll come along and just straighten, straighten it, it up. To the centre point, ha. yes. Ha, see? It's not just me that's... No, no. Okay, Wendy, we're going to open it out very carefully. Okay, we're going to keep them together. Is we that do right? need okay. to keep them together. So you Ooh. have. It's obvious that you've done it before. Have you actually made clothes? Yes, yeah, but not for a long time. Oh, really? Brilliant. Yeah. So now we're going to cut the front neck. Okay. And you can't. You could leave it the same, but you'd probably get a bit strangled. Yeah. yeah so a bit lower on the front. Yeah. Neck. About. Um, I mean, you can have it scooped. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is your moment Ooh. for how you'd like your neck. Decisions. So this is a decision moment because oh, that T-shirt, sorry, that T-shirt just sort of went kind of boat necky yeah. a bit. But if you want, you can scoop it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it needs to be too low, does it? No. I think it's almost more t-shirt-like when it's not... Yeah, when it's not too scooped. Just a little bit of a scoop. A so. little scoop? Yeah, a small scoop. <laughs> okay. So, a small scoop. Yeah. Like... Make sure I'm cutting through one layer. You only cut through one layer. And then flip it over so that it's symmetrical. Oh, it's just so clever. <laughs> It's the tricks, you see. It's the tricks that make the difference. Yes, I don't know. Tricks of the trade. Tricks, tricks, tricks of the trade. Right. 
so that's that and then the only other thing that we need to prepare is a long strip of fabric that we will fold in half and then that's going to be our ribbing around the neck right okay mm -hmm. wendy <laughs> Yeah. Have you got an iron and an ironing board? Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> and here's one she made earlier, look. <laughs> oh, yeah, lovely cover, look at that. Thanks for getting the iron That's ready. Cool you did right. that beautifully, actually. Yeah. Is, it, is it on a medium setting? It's a medium setting, because that, that okay. this will kind of fizz a bit, won't it? Well, oh. I don't know, actually. It's a good idea to test out your fabric first. On the iron, but we Before can you do whack the iron yes. in the middle of it, and that's, that's the yeah. end of your hard work. True, very good <laughs> idea to do that first on a scrap of fabric. But we're going to do it on the ribbing. But I just want right. to talk to you about ribbing. Okay, ribbing for me is anything that stretches. So on the um, on this, we've cut it the stretch way because what we're going to do, we're going to fold it over and we're going to stretch it around the neck, which is a really easy way to finish off necks hems you can have all sorts of shapes anyway, I'm digressing sorry but first of all we need to press it do you know the difference between pressing and ironing I'm not being rude or not meaning to be rude I wouldn't say I did know the subtleties but okay because <laughs> when I tell people to press things they do this business and that's ironing and that's ironing it, it, it really difference. does make a difference so pressing is holding it in place applying pressure and a bit of steam all right so that's pressing that's pressing so let's have a look Okay, Ooh. now your iron is a little bit sticky. I know. What have you been doing? <laughs> um, may, um, Maybe aim for the non-sticky bit. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah, I think it was it, some other crafts. Because it involved <laughs> an iron. Okay, so try... And metal filaments. You know that mm. you, 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 you put a stamp on and then you put some filaments on it and then you have to... Have you been doing that? I've been doing that. Oh. Maybe I got it a bit close to the iron. Wow. <laughs> So I don't know what fiancé shirts have been turning out like. Oh, with metal filaments on it. <laughs> Difficult to say. <laughs> so we've pressed this ribbon and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. It goes around the neckline basically like that. Oh, but what I happens see. is you stretch as you sew and it's a great way to finish it off and then you press it all back into shape again. So we're ready to sew now, you know. Oh, yes. All we need is the sewing machine. Where's the sewing machine? I think Ralph had it. 